Okay, last topic is the dictionary. Okay, um, I think we talked about these briefly in Chapter 3, but let's take a second look at the dictionary. They're kind of like lists in that they're container objects um, that contain a bunch of items, okay, but there's a distinct difference, if you can recall, that the dictionary stores its items in key value pairs, key value pairs. So I have um, like an actual German language dictionary for some with some animal words and their English equivalents. So for example, here's an example of a key value pair. We have the English word cat, that's the key, then the value is die Katze, okay? The, it's the German equivalent. So think of, you know, if you have the key, you can unlock the value. Think of the value as always the thing you want, the thing you're looking up, okay? I'm opening a German dictionary because I want that German word. That's the value. So I have the key, I can unlock the value. And uh, so we have a, a second key value pair here, which is dog, which is der Hund, okay? And so on down the line, okay? So I'm going to run this. Let's see. I, I have uh, all the whole program pasted in here, so we'll just take a look. So th that's my dictionary printed out. One thing I notice, you know, German words always come with the article because they have masculine, feminine, and neutral words. So um, I forgot to put the article on the bird. Okay, fine. No big deal. I can just change that. I reach into the words dictionary. My dictionary is called words, by the way. I didn't mention that before. I reach into the words dictionary, provide the key, provide the new value, which is der Vogel, and that's it. It's going to update that. You can see that change took place. Okay. Then, you know, just looking up any word, um, so, for example, if I reach into that words dictionary, I provide the key, dog, the English equivalent, to unlock the value. The value goes into this new variable, German dog, and the printout is der Hund, okay? And then, um, I th so that's one way of, of retrieving a value from a dictionary. I think this is probably the most intuitive way, you know, just reaching into the dictionary by name and then, you know, providing the key, boom, you have the value. But you can also use get, the get method, okay, based on, you know, just use words.get, provide the key, and that's going to give you the value. In, in this case, das Pferd is horse in German. Okay, just a couple of quick techniques, and that'll be that. So if you want to add an item to the dictionary, fine, just uh, reference the dictionary by name. Provide the new key in square brackets. That's the key. This is the value. I need the article on that. Okay, and um, that will add the lion to the dictionary. Okay, let's see. And the, yeah, there it is. Okay, you can see the new entry took. And then if you want to delete an entry, so let's say I want to delete the, co um, let's see, what, what do I have in here? Oh yeah, okay, so let's say I want to delete the cow here, the cow. Um, you can use, you know, I don't know if we've seen this keyword before yet in this class, the DEL for delete. Be careful with that because, you know, once it's deleted, it's deleted, and it's not going to ask you if you, are you sure? Um, so that would delete the cow. Oh, you know what, I have a, I, I need to print, let me uh, paste this above that final printout. Okay, and um, yeah, you can see the cow is gone. So you, DEL is going to delete an entry from, from the dictionary. You know what, POP will work on this too. Um, but yeah, uh, th that's it. Basically, there's your dictionary.